Fifo Life here on Red FM. I've got Alex from Chesswork Group with me. How are you, mates? I'm well. How are you? I'm very well, thank <laughs> you. A lot of people have actually asked this on our surveys, mate. Uh, buying a home or buying an investment, what's what's better? Yeah, great question. Um, it, look, at the end of the day, it really just comes down to what you want. Yeah. Okay, and where you want to live. Um, if you're happy to like move way out, you know, out uh, in a new estate somewhere. Um, then, yeah, buying a home, brand new home, you know, and designing it and all that, you know, it's great. There's, a, there's an allure there, you yeah. know, of people going, oh, I can, you know, I've got my block of dirt. Yes, it's, you know, an hour out of the city, but um, it's mine, it's mine, it's mine, you know. And I can understand there's a visceral kind of um, impulse, you know, to yeah. kind of have your own thing. However, if you're the kind of person that really doesn't want to live out there, um, and I must admit, I fall into that category as well. I don't really like living out in the suburbs personally. I mean, it's not for everyone. Yeah. Um, so where you're kind of looking at it, you go, well, hang on. Let's say, you know, I'm paying 300 bucks a week rent where I am now, and I'm happy living here. I'm close to the city. I'm close to work, close to my friends, you know, go out on a weekend, blah, blah, blah. Then you kind of do a comparison and go, well, look, if I was to actually buy a similar kind of property to where I am now, it's going to cost me, you know, 600000 or, you know, whatever. And you do the sums on it and you go, okay, so I'm paying 300 bucks a week now. If I buy a property, it's going to cost me 550 bucks a week. So I've just increased my cost of living now for, you know, $250 a week. Mm-hmm. And none of that extra debt is actually tax deductible. Right, so you kind of like you've just increased your cost of living, and then you've got to pay the rates and the water rates and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So you go, okay, well then the uh, the option to kind of have the similar kind of you know repayment on my home is I've got to move out. So if you don't want to do that, what you can kind of look at is go, well, what if I buy an investment property, right, and just live where I want to live? Well, the advantage to that is now, let's say you've got a uh, an investment property, even if it costs you 50 bucks a week to hold on, mm-hmm. right? Well, you've only increased your cost of living by $50. Yep. And then at the end of the year, you're getting taxed back on that as well. So don't forget, when you buy an investment property, now that investment property, is, that debt and all of those expenses, the rates, the insurance, they're all tax deductible. Yep, yep. So this is where I've, in particular, I see a lot of... Um, you know, a lot of younger people kind of getting into the market and they're going, oh, look, I'm getting a $15,000 or now it's $10,000 um, first homeowner's grant. You know, I don't want to miss out on that. And it's like, okay, uh, you know, weighing all all things being equal, that ten grand, you know, what's it worth in terms of your lifestyle? Mm. Do you know what I mean? So, you, you, okay, you want to go out and live in the sticks. Now you've got to drive an hour to work every day or an hour and a half and go with, with traffic and the yeah. whole works and dice. You know, you want to live close to the city. Yeah, it's a similar kind of story. You've got, like, fairly low rent, right, for the area in comparison to buying a house there. So, like, it's it's just magnified. Like, so, for example, you could, um, you know, be 5Ks out of the city in Melbourne. Mm-hmm. Um, your rent's only 400 To buy there, it's a million. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you know what I mean? So it's like you can be a slave to the mortgage for the rest of your life or you can buy an investment property and kind of free float, you know, and kind of go, you know, wherever you like. And you've got that flexibility as well. It could be a very smart way to go, I think, mate. If people want more information, what's the best way to get it? Yeah, get us on uh, www.chessworkgroup.com.au. Um, there's ebooks there. You can go and download uh, ebooks on the property investing and also um, home loans. Yep. Uh, alternatively, give us a call on 1300 295 138. Love your work, Alex. Thanks very much for coming in today. Thank you. No probs at all. If you want to grab those ebooks, then once again go to chessworkgroup.com.au. That's FIFO Life for today. It's the-